Right, a quick video because people, it's quiet, there's no one about. When I first came, there were people, a group talking there and a group talking down there. So there's more of these wooden knights in where the castle mound is. I've got them photographs I've taken on the front of them. I've got lots of images of the shape of the castle, which I think I've got somewhere anyway, but I got offline once. The, uh, across the inner bailey, approximately where the railway station platforms are today, flowed a broad and swift river Neen. Sentinels on the walls of the castle could see as far as Dustin West, Delphi South and Kingsort North, and then across the growing town of Hampton to the east. In 1264, during the Battle of Northampton, students at the University of North Northampton supported the rebellion of Simon de Montford against King Henry III. Looking to the south, they would have seen the well-equipped army of the king and the young Prince Edward massing at the south gate of the town. To the north, near the Abbey of St Andrew, they would have watched in horror as the wall, undermined by the monks, fell and led to the capture of Simon the Younger, as he and his followers sought to breach. Yeah, I've got, to, I've got to read up on the history because I've got muddled up. I only saw Huntington Castle the other day. So I'm trying to uh, decipher a lot of information at the moment. When I put this video online, I will add captions. So here we have, I'm on top of the mound. Someone said, don't be disappointed, but obviously it was a lot. It was a lot bigger and broader and the bailey spread right out over there, look. Okay, but it did have a defensive position. If you stand here and look over how low everything else is, it was they selected well. But of course, there are a lot of people about. Some are probably students. Um, that's probably a little bit of the castle there. Might be. I'll take that bit with me. It's good to have at least one souvenir, haven't you? Looks a bit castly. Obviously it's been repaired and restored and cared for over the years, but it will attract young people and yobs and homeless people and all sorts. We look down there at one of the that's a good idea, the wooden knights. I'm surprised they haven't been really defaced in that, you know. Um especially this being a multicultural society. Um it could be that you know, certain cultural elements don't like the thought of crusaders. Full life-size ones everywhere. Down there is another plaque and, like I said, evidence of people drinking. But I can't see a bin up here. So maybe they ought to take a leaf out of Grove Park in Weston and um, put some bags out. I'm still a bit upset by not being able to see two of the Norman churches, so um, I'm not impressed with that at all. Fancy having a castle on your back door, though. How lovely. Can't think of anything better myself. Just got to be careful where you walk, because I've seen somebody doing things with a needle earlier. And... Um, you know, you're, it's dangerous. There were needles everywhere. Like here, look. See if you fell, Sheila. There's some, um, like an insulin needle wrapper there, look. See? And wipes. Wipes. A little pot for drawing up the fluid. There's a lid of a needle. There's blood there on um, a wipe. So yeah, it's dangerous, it's dangerous. Dangerous to walk about. You couldn't let children, you'd have to be very careful with children, wouldn't you? And this should really be well cared for. This is a historic monument, this is. This is a historic monument. Built by my 24 times great-grandfather, Simon St. Liz, who married Matilda of Huntington. This is just evidence, people jacking up everywhere. It is a worry, isn't it? 
bloodstained tissues and cloths everywhere. I must admit, I haven't seen any needles. But everywhere you look, look. It's terrible, isn't it? Our young people, what are they doing? Right, what I'm going to do is just walk down to the bottom to get a full impression, then walk up back round again. So this is Northampton Castle, the mound and what's left of it. There's a little bit here that's been left to... Oh, goodness, it's like a little den for somebody. How awful. If you know what I mean. My castle being allowed to become a drug den. So, and the people that live in there. And there we've got a scene. I don't know what that big chimney is. But uh, I'll probably find out. I'm just going to walk fully all the way down and on up again to get a full impression. And don't forget the bailey spread out right over to the railway station. This would have been a massive mound with a tower, with all the ramparts, with all the other structures and buildings. It would have been quite, quite a big um, castle and it was built upon... But of course, obviously, they, um, in the end, what happened was with... Hello! Hello, baby. It's all right. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. I'm just talking to myself on my little camera. Doing a bit of history. And um, so what was I saying? Yeah. So castles were demolished. And um, what happened after that? Yeah, that's right. The town expanded, the castles weren't really needed to defend as such anymore, you know. It was a statement more than anything when they built a castle. It was a statement. Right, so I'm just going to stop, take some pictures of this scene, and then I'm going to come back on again, over and out. <laughs>